Hello, and welcome to the tutorial for my professional dynamic invoicing system for Apple Numbers. If you'd like to follow along, follow the link below to the download page to get started. The template is open source and completely free. The system features full product and customer databases, a fully customizable and dynamic invoice, and automatically generated receipts and packing slips. Provided with the template is a user guide with full color screenshots and a sales record spreadsheet to log your sales for general bookkeeping and tax purposes. When you follow that link, you can go to the download page and click the icon to download the system. Once it is finished downloading, you can unpack the zip file and you'll have three files here. You'll have a sales record, a readme file, which I would start with first, and your invoice system template. This is where you, where you will start each time you want to create a new invoice. Let's start by opening the invoice. The first thing you'll see is your product list. This is where you should start and enter all the information for all of the products or services that you sell. First create a name for them and then you can input a code. This code is how we're going to reference your products and services on your invoice. So make it short and something that's easy to remember or easy to type. You can always copy and paste these two. Choose a product type or a service type. I have a pull down list which you can customize for categories. Provide a brief description and then enter your cost, your price, and profit margin and allowable discount will automatically be generated based off these two numbers. You can add any notes and you can also keep track of inventory here. Next is the customer database. You'll want to put in your information for all of your customers and most importantly create a unique customer ID for each person. This is how you'll enter their information onto the invoice. You can just think up a number or use some combination of their name and a number if you'd like or you can come to the data generators page and check this button to get a newly generated random number. You can then copy this, come back into here, and you can paste it in by pasting values. This will ensure that no formulas are pasted into this cell so it won't change each time you open it. On the data generators page you also have a place where you can change your tax rate that will be applied on your invoice if you choose to tax. You have a dollars to percent and percent to dollars discount converter for calculating discounts. And in this table you can see a detailed breakdown on your profit by line and by total. Moving on to the invoice, you can see that it's a very clean and professional look. The first place you'll start is with your customer ID. Let's go ahead and delete this and see what happens. As you can see, the data is all linked to the ID. So when you delete the ID, the data disappears. When you create a new invoice, all you have to do is find your customer, get their ID, copy it, and simply paste it into the ID field and all of their information will automatically be populated. You can put your information over on the right side and save it so that it's automatically there when you load it. Entering items works in the same way as entering customers. All you have to do is enter the items code, a quantity, and any applicable discount, and it will automatically fill in the rest for you. So go to your product page. Let's say we want to sell two small widgets and one medium widget, and their codes are 1000 and 1100 respectively. We're going to enter those in. and then add our quantities and our discount. And let's say I want to apply a 15% discount to this line only. I'll enter it in there. 
the amounts in the extended price will reflect this discount. Let's say I don't want to apply sales tax, so I'm going to uncheck this box, and you'll see that the tax field is now zero. If I decided I wanted to apply sales tax, I will simply check the box. This field shows your total due, and this field will show when it's due. It's default set to two weeks after the date of your invoice, which is automatically generated here. You can right click on this and say update now if it's not already the right time. Add any comments you wish in here and thank your customer. Now you'll notice we have a receipt and a packing slip here. By this point in the invoicing process, these will already be fully generated with the appropriate information. You can now apply any payments that you may have received, and you can also update any tracking numbers, internal reference numbers, or any purchase order numbers, as well as a shipping charge. I have it set up right now where you can add shipping by typing in ship. And this is just a generic shipping code to charge your customer. You can use this if you wish or you can change it. But as you can see, it's very simple. It's minimal data entry. Once you've finished the invoice, you automatically get a, a receipt and a packing slip to ship your products with. I hope that this template can prove useful to you and your business. If you like my template, please consider making a small donation by clicking on the PayPal Donate button on my webpage to help me continue to offer free products like this one. Thanks for watching.